Grammar Bites, Lesson 28, Rules for a Sentence. In the Grammar Bites series, we watch all the videos, so we learn all the rules of English. Let's start with a quick review about what a sentence is. So let's look at this picture, and I'm going to write a sentence for you. The dog runs. Now, is this a good sentence? When I say good sentence, I mean, does it follow the rules of English? Is it grammatically correct? What do you think? Maybe you want to think about it or talk about it with a friend or write about it. Is this a good sentence? Yes, this is a good sentence. Now, here's the tricky part. Tell me, why is it a good sentence? What are the rules and how does this sentence follow the rules? The first rule is that a sentence must have one or more words. How many words do we have here? The dog runs. Three words. A sentence must start with a word that is capitalized. So here we can see the T is a capital T. So all good. A sentence must end with punctuation. What do we have in this sentence? A period. Does this follow the rules? Yes. A sentence must end with a period, exclamation mark, or question mark. A sentence must express a complete thought. That means an idea that can stand on its own. So the dog runs. Yep, that's a complete idea. What if the words just said the dog? Would that be a sentence? No, that would be a phrase, not a sentence. A sentence needs a subject. Remember, the subject is the star. Who or what is doing the action? What is the subject of the sentence? The dog. A sentence also needs a predicate. The predicate is what the subject is doing. What is the predicate in this sentence? What is the dog doing? The dog runs. Runs is the predicate. These are the rules for writing a sentence. Remember, a sentence needs a subject and a predicate. Now, some teachers call the predicate the verb. Next time I'll talk about that. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website www.mycanadianenglish.com